report is so important because it looks at the difference between limiting global warming at 1.5 degrees Celsius compared to 2 degrees Celsius. It does make a huge difference in the level of impact of climate change. But it also shows that achieving this limiting of warming to that level is an enormous challenge. This report quite clearly lays out that there are quite substantial differences between uh, uh, the impacts of climate change at 1.5 degrees uh, compared to 2 degrees global warming. Uh, so impacts such as uh, flooding, uh, drought, long-term sea level rise, impacts on biodiversity are all larger at 2 degrees compared to 1.5 degrees and in many cases the impacts are double at 2 degrees compared to 1.5 degrees. So to put that in perspective, an extra half degree of global warming uh, could increase sea level rise by an extra 10 centimetres by the end of the century and that could put a further 10 million people at risk of coastal flooding. So what's new in this report is what are the impacts that would be avoided by limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius compared to 2 degrees Celsius, but also what that means in terms of how much global emissions of CO2 and other greenhouse gases need to be reduced to meet that target and crucially what that itself means uh, for countries around the world, particularly developing countries, the challenges of achieving that without disadvantaging poor people uh, and, and allowing a good quality of life and without having any unintended knock-on effects on food security and so on. So it's an enormous challenge but this does lay out possible pathways to achieving these targets. Mm -hmm.